All right, we are back with another Pick'em video. Going to be going over my favorite plays for the NBA today. We got eight games, and there's definitely a lot of value on the board. And it was one of those days where the, the, the value is kind of popping off the page. So I'm going to bring you guys five plays. I absolutely love them. Uh, but before we get into things, have a few things to talk about. Uh, the promotions for today, there's definitely some going on. Don't forget, it's Flex Friday. You have to go into promotions page opt into that looks like i got a 30 dollars flex friday which is awesome sometimes that's 20 dollars. i don't know if this is specific to me sometimes it changes um but it could be up to 30 bucks for you maybe even more uh so gotta gotta opt in for that now um it's just like free money so definitely go ahead and take that advantage of that and then it's also like the 12 days of, of pick them picks miss or whatever they want to call it uh on prize picks for the next few days so definitely take advantage of all the promos you can get looks like today there's a six pick entry for up to 30 x um, so definitely get, again, go in and opt into that and take advantage of both of these. So, you know, I, sometimes I forget, I'm like, Oh, I'll do that later. Just do it now. I've, I've, I've very many times gone in and say, oh, I'll do that later. And then I completely forget to do it. So take advantage of that. Um, and then also like on the board, don't forget about, uh, on the NBA, don't forget about that KD free square. You have a million hours to do it, but you know, do it as early as possible. Cause again, you could forget. Um, uh, but let's go into the video picks from last time. Uh, we had six of them. On prize picks, I did drop an earlier video on underdog. I think we went one for three on that one, so not very good. Steph kind of sold for us in a game that Clay Thompson had a good game. Um, and then Michael Porter Jr. kind of continues to be in a little drought for us. Uh, I thought he'd break out of it yesterday, but uh, Kobe White crushes rebounds line. Um, I forgot to, to pull that up, but a one for three on the underdog picks. Four for six on the later prize picks uh, video. That was kind of attacking all sports. I knew it wasn't going to you know, uh, attract as many people just because the NBA tag is really what gets people uh, to click on the videos, which is fine. Uh, but we went after all sports. We had uh, three hockey plays, and then we had two basketball plays and one Thursday night football play. Uh, obviously, we, we went one for three on the hockey plays. Blake Coleman, I said, was probably my favorite play of the day. Uh, him and Claxton, so they were like, you know, definitely my favorite plays of the of last night. Uh, they both hit, which was nice to see. And then Easton Stick, they got absolutely crushed. Uh, the Raiders put up like I don't even know, 63 points or something crazy. Um, so yeah, they got waxed. But they put up a fight. They put up some points in the second half. I think they put up 21 or something. So uh, he got there with the pass attempts. Jalen Brown continues to do, be like a cash cow for those first quarter points. And then uh, Cartier, if I learned how to pronounce his last name, Ty Cartier. Um, he's right here. He ended up going over for us. We said that that one was definitely our least favorite play of the day. And then Tom Wilson just hooked us. Uh, so we're going to try to do like this and better. You know, we pretty consistently get four for six. Um, or better on this channel. So haven't had that six for six in a long time. It's pretty much either four for six or five or six. And, uh, you know, I think like literally one time in the past, like 30 days, two times we've been under 50%. So going to try to, you know, attack the board again, one of these days that the value is popping off the page, really excited about these plays. If you want to join the discord guys, it's free to join. Um, you get, you know, the video picks, you get the general chat and we also do a community play. I actually forgot to do the community play yesterday just cause I was busy with someone visiting me, um, in my new apartment. So we'll be back on the community play grind today. That's where we kind of vote on the best players for the like each game uh, in the NBA. Uh, we you know go out there, get the vote out there, and then we'll attack like a two man, three man, four man, depending on how the vote goes and how many games there are. And then uh, we kind of try to you know go at it as a community and attack that value on those on those top guys. So those are always fun. If you want to check out any of my slips and get all my slips, definitely check out the Rich Club. Um, they already got these picks in there so uh you know they've had these for now i don't know an hour or 30 minutes now before you know i got to record this video then then publish it and things like that uh but yeah little plug for the discord link in the description but let's go over this gonna go chronologically like i always do uh and first guy we're gonna be attacking is denny advia and denny advia going to his 26.5 pra gonna go under here and let's go over to our partners on outlier if you're interested in this tool there's a seven day free trial one of my fa uh, favorite tools by far, um, and it was the first tool I got. We're partners, and if you hit the link in the description, you'll get, again, seven-day free trial. Definitely go ahead and check it out. You'll see the power of it throughout this video if you haven't watched me before. Uh, but 26.5, we're going under here, and you can see, honestly, I'm going to go back just because all the green. You can see all of this green in terms of this line. Obviously, it's the Pacers, maybe not the best matchup in the world uh, in terms of going under, but green bean across the board on these uh, and we'll attack this line we're going to go into it we see the dvig odds are minus 136 so they're even giving us a little bit of a boost um this is one pick that i i don't usually do this um the odds are you know not very not heavily favoring this line to go over or under it's a very 50 50 line 
And I very much like to attack the odds. Those are billion dollar companies. They know what they're doing. But this one was really popping off the page. And it's not like they're expecting it to, to go under. It's just very, very slightly expected to go over. So 26.5, again, or sorry, other way around. Um, my headphones might have just died too. So if my audio sounds weird, that's what just happened. All right, but uh, let's go into this. 83% of the games on the season, he's gone under this line. 19 of 23. So just absolutely crazy. He's only going on over this line four times. And injury implications, there's not much. Um, we have, you know, a few injuries with Landry Shamit. He obviously gets, you know, a de- not a decent amount of run. He, he gets an okay amount of run. He plays like, I don't know, 12, 15 minutes a game. Um, and then we have, let's just go over to Rotowire, kind of check that. It's easier over here. Um, Rotowire is saying Wizards, yeah. Looks like we got uh, Jordan Poole's game time decision. That's the biggest one. He's like an actual player on this team. And then Dylan Onright and Landry Shamit, those are the other two guys that uh, get a few minutes when they do play, but these guys have been out for a decent amount of time. Um, so, you know, we'll check them out, but nothing crazy. The on off court stats here are showing um, that even with these guys out, this doesn't include uh, Jordan Poole, but even with these guys out, Denny Avia is actually getting a less of a usage rate. So I'm not really too scared about that. And then going back to see if Jordan Poole doesn't play, let's go to J- games without Jordan Poole. See if my internet wants to go. So it looks like he's played one game without Jordan Poole this year. So if, if Poole misses, he actually practically went half of this line. So he went under this uh, on 11:25 against Atlanta. So uh, even if Jordan Poole doesn't play, I don't think he's getting that big of a boost anyway. Um, so yeah, really, really liking this line. Crazy value, 83%. Let's go to Fantasy Optimizer though. Uh, again, this is another tool that I use. This is Odds Jam. They have a plethora of different tools. Uh, I'm now moved to a state where I can bet on sports books, which is awesome. So this positive EV tool is another thing that I should probably make a video on just because it's so powerful. It's not only pick them uh, things. Sometimes it's, you know, player props, but I can also bet on actual games, first half money lines, things like that. And this is crazy value. It does similar things where it, it line shops. You're seeing where the best value is uh, based on certain lines. So if, if, you know, five, six different books have this line, you know, at a certain price and you're getting a discount on the price, that's where you go ahead and attack that value. But they have a bunch of, you know, crazy calculations um, and they make everything super easy for you. But check this out. Again, seven day free trial. I recommend getting them both at the same time. You get a week to kind of try them out and you can see how well they work together. So we saw an outlier. Denny's looking really good. Now, I did kind of preface this one saying that uh, the odds aren't crazy. We usually attack things that are like 52, 53 or a higher percent chance to hit based on odds jam. Uh, but we'll, we'll see, you know, everything pretty much on the under except for maybe his rebounds. And we do see this 26.5 is, you know, expected to go over or under 50.63% chance. So nothing crazy in terms of percentage. Uh, but again, we saw the outlier page and how crazy it is. The other note I will give is that Pinnacle, which is the sharpest sports book at, out there, uh, where all these other sports books, FanDuel's got this at minus 125, minus 110, minus 110, minus 111. Pinnacle has got this at minus 135. So they're expecting this to go over. Um, looks like maybe the sharper sports books, FanDuel, Pinnacle, even Bet Online, all have this above a minus or below, I guess, a minus 130, which is great to see. Um, all these other guys maybe are trying to catch up, and we're getting fixed odds at minus 119. So we're getting better value on prize picks across the board. So really, really liking this Advia play. The last kind of a uh, note here, let's go to Rotowire. This tool, guys, is completely free. Hit my link in the description, then go to Rotowire, or like once you like get there, you don't have to sign up for anything, but go to rotowire.com uh, slash picks slash prize picks. You see it right up here. It's a completely free tool. It's absolutely wild that this is free. And they're continuing to like, you know, take user um user whatever suggestions and uh boost and, and bolster this app uh so take advantage of this while it's free it's absolutely wild um in terms of what it can do for you and it's the best projection model out there by far but let's go to denny advia these next picks will go definitely quicker i just wanted to get you know show you guys all these tools that i use denny advia we got the prediction leaning the most on the least for this line, which is great to see. 26.5. Uh, and so you see why they're predicting less. It's because pick'em sites, they don't have anything right here. Maybe they're on the same the same thing. But sports books are slightly favoring the under here. Rotowire is absolutely favoring the under here. If you go right here, you'll be able to see what they're actually expecting. They're expecting 22.96 PRA from Denny. That'd be great. That'd be under for us by far. And then we saw the hit rate. He's only he's only this is saying 15% of the time he's gone over. So 85% of the time he's gone under, which is awesome. We saw that outlier as well. So just another data point, uh, all pointing towards the under on this line. So Denny Advia, absolutely love this one. Um, I absolutely love all these, but you know it's a good start for us. 26.5 on the under, PRA. All right, let's move it along. Same uh, game. 
no, not same game, but same time slot here. Let's go to CJ McCollum. All right, going to go to CJ McCollum, and I'm actually going to go to his fantasy score. Don't always go to fantasy score, uh, but when I see it popping off the page like this, I definitely want to attack it. We're going over for CJ McCollum. Um, do want to go to Rotowire real quick, kind of check out the uh, injury implications for today. Uh, for that Pelicans game, we do see that Zion Williamson is a game time decision. If we go in a little bit further, if you have like uh, any fantasy app, if you play like fantasy basketball, fantasy football, anything like that, Rotowire is usually the, the websites that's giving you all those implications on injuries and things. That's why their projections model is insane. Um, definitely check out this website, guys. It's awesome for all things sports. But it looks like he participated in shoot around ahead of Friday's game, so he probably will play. Officially, this is questionable. Uh, he did miss the previous game. Good sign of his availability. So he might play. So that, that's not the end of the world. I think it's uh, no, not a bad thing. But if Zion doesn't play, it's definitely a little bit of a boost for um, CJ McCollum. But let's go to McCollum here. Uh, Going to start on Rotowire just because they have the fantasy score. Odds Jam and Outlier are pretty much for sportsbook specific. I know that they're both working towards, or maybe not uh, Odds Jam, but I know uh, Outlier is working towards a DFS or fantasy sports um, update that will give you access to fantasy scores. But let's start at Rotowire, kind of see what they're saying about this line. We'll go to McCollum. And we do see that he's got a few different lines popping up, and everything is on the over. It's like CJ McCollum uh, day. He has, has a lot of value on the board, and I don't think you could go wrong with anything. But in terms of you know fa points, fantasy score, points and rebounds, I think you could choose anyone you want. I'm just going to go to the fantasy score because of the hit rate. He's been crushing this hit rate when he's played this year. This is an 82% hit rate. We can actually hit the little hit rate tab, and we see that on fantasy score, this is a weighted hit rate giving more weight to the uh, past performances that were, have been recent. So 82% hit rate, that's because 80% of his last five, he's hit this. 90% of his last 10, he's hit this. And then on the season, it's 92%. So absolutely wild to see uh, this you know, type of hit rate, which is why I'm kind of leaning towards the fantasy score. But I would not mind if you guys went to points and rebounds, points, uh, everything is kind of pointing towards the over here. So really like McCollum here. In terms of like their actual projection, they are projecting 39.4, which would be great for us. 34.0, we even have some push potential if that happens. Uh, but Fantasy Optimizer kind of going backwards on this one. Um, but let's go to McCollum. I do want to show you that he, they won't have fantasy score, but they do have all of his other lines. And they are expecting you know, over rebounds, over points, over points and rebounds. All these lines are pointing on the over. Even if it's slightly, they are projecting the over. Pinnacle's got these you know, very much boosted on the overs, uh, minus 131 for PRA, which is good to see as well. So that's, uh, that's CJ McCollum. We will go over here. I will show you without Zion, with Zion, things like that. Um, I don't want to make these videos too long, but I like to give you guys as much data as I can. And I found a lot of good data for these picks. So uh, again, apologies if it's long. You can always change it to 1.5 speed. I don't know if I talk slow or fast. Um, so yeah. But points, rebounds, assists, all green in terms of the Charlotte, Charlotte matchup. Forgot to totally mention the matchup. Absolutely great matchup for him. Uh, in terms of the head-to-head, -head, he has gone over this fantasy score line on both these on all these games but in terms of pra um the past three matchups none of these this year so take it with a grain of salt he has gone over on two or three for pra pra is the closest thing i can get to fantasy score over here but in 2023 gone over in eight to 12 games love to see that again his fantasy score has been great because he's able to get some blocks and steals i believe yeah been crushing sorry uh, been crushing the uh, blocks and steals line so if he can pick up you know five that'd be crazy but if he gets you know two or three that's a, definitely a plus on this fantasy score as well so really really like in cj mccollum and that's going to be our second play um i will again try to go faster on these next ones but let's go to d'anthony melton and we got detroit vors versus philadelphia they just played recently isaiah stewart got ejected from that game I've been trying to go to his lines recently, but he hasn't been doing well for me. So I'm going to go to the other side of the court, attack some 76ers value, and go to D'Anthony Melton's 25.5 fantasy score. Another one that's popping off the page for me. Let's go to CJ McCall or let's go to D'Anthony Melton on the fantasy score over here. Uh, on Outlier again, they don't have fantasy score, but we'll be attacking his uh, PRA over here just to kind of check out what he's been doing so far this year. So PRA, let's go to whatever. Let's just open up his page, um, and we're getting PRA. Seven of the last 10 games, he's crushed this PRA. Absolutely love to see this. Now, against Detroit, didn't get here, but his fantasy score, I believe he did get here. So just got to keep that in mind that we're going to fantasy score. It's a little bit different than the PRA. In 2023, <clears throat> you will see my voice. <clears throat> All right. You will see that um, at the beginning of the year, <clears throat> excuse me, 
Uh, at the beginning of the year, he wasn't doing this at, at, at all. Uh, I bet this had something to do with the Harden implications. Was Harden going to play? What is DeAnthony Melton's role on this team? But once, let's say, Batum got to town in that Harden trade, or this is games without Batum, Let's go to Batum. This is kind of when that Harden trade happened. He's gone over this in 9 of 14 games, so love to see this. Uh, in terms of the matchup, the points allowed is the biggest thing. That's that's what Melton's going to hurt you as. You know, 16, 14, 17, 19, if he can get around that range, he should be able to crush this line. Uh, so, yeah, just been crushing this line regardless. This is the PRA. Does get a little boost in the steals and blocks department for fantasy score. Let's check that out. Uh, been crushing this line kind of like CJ McCollum. Four blocks of steals, five blocks of steals. He's a defensive player uh, before anything, and uh, luckily he can score the ball as well. So definitely liking this. Let's go over to his. <clears throat> excuse me, I got a tickle in my throat. Um, Danthy Melton on, if I can spell his name right. Danthy Melton for fantasy score. Another one popping, leaning towards the more. They're projecting 29.87. The 88% hit rate is ridiculous. Again, that has to do with the blocks and steals. So if he's not hitting his PRA, he's sometimes getting there with the fantasy score anyway because of those blocks and steals. So really, really like this spot for DeAnthony Melton. Um, in terms of the game, again, last time against Detroit, they have played each other uh, this year. I already mentioned that. But yeah, look at these steals and blocks against Detroit on both these games. He had four back there. He had three back in, you know, just recently, two days ago, because they ranked 28th and 27th in terms of steals and blocks allowed. So he could definitely rack up against these guys, even though he missed his PRA last time they played. <clears throat> last time they played. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. Um, I don't edit my videos, so you're going to be hearing these coughs. I'm I, sorry about that. Uh, but did, even though he didn't get them here in terms of PRA, he did get the fantasy score because of this blocks and steals. So that's what I was trying to get to. But yeah, really good Danthony Nelton day. Want to go to Fantasy Optimizer just to kind of show you that one more data point. Danthony Milton. Go ahead and apply that. And we do see all the overs again. So maybe not blocks, but that's fine. He gets a lot of steals. So that's more of it. But in terms of that, everything on the over. Uh, you know, 53% chance of points and rebounds. Another one you could attack for sure. But again, Fantasy Score, they don't have that on here. And I think that might be the best line on the day for him. So that's our third pick. Let's get these last two in here. Um, we're going to be going to Jabari Smith Jr. Haven't gone to him, I don't think, all season. But 10.5 points and sorry, rebounds and assists looks too good to be true. Let's check out what he's been doing, and especially so far recently. We're back to you know normal lines that I can check out on Outlier and Odds Jam. So uh, these will be quicker for sure. Jabari Smith Jr. Go to his 10.5 points and or sorry rebounds and assists gone over in nine of the last 10 games and he's been crushing this line recently so uh you know does get 11 a decent amount of times in terms of the head to head got 11 against these guys both times this year uh this was two days ago and this was you know back about a month ago uh so has hit this line against memphis in both their games this year head uh, 2023 has gone over in 11 21 but again as you can see he's been crushing it recently and uh you know the minutes are definitely creeping upwards wasn't getting a whole bunch of run back in here and uh amy Adoka is probably just trying to figure out that rotation what works best for them and jabari smith jr is a big part of that team you know defensively offensively but definitely can go out and grab you know 10 plus rebounds which would be great for us and has been diamond the ball a little bit which is nice to see as well so memphis you know definitely a solid spot for him hasn't been a great team with all their injuries and uh, definitely a great spot here here for him again i think my headphones are like disconnecting one of them just disconnected the other one disconnected so i'm all over the place but i'm pumped about these picks i don't know if the audio sounds horrible or what but let's go into jabari smith jr uh kind of see what he's been doing so far this year on odds jam see what other sports books are saying points or sorry rebounds and assists 10.5 53.58 percent chance to hit love to see it minus 135 pretty much across the board fliff's got this at minus 150 we're getting this at minus 119 odds on prize picks uh, doing a five or six man flex. So this is crazy value for sure. Let's go check him out on Rotowire, get that last data point and go to Jabari Smith Jr. We do see that 10.5 line leaning on the over. Uh, Sportsbook's very, very, very slightly leaning towards the over. Rotowire is projecting the over and the hit rate's been great as well. They're projecting 11.13. That's all we would need. We just need 11. And again, we've seen them do that twice against Memphis already. 77% hit rate again, like we saw on Outlier already. So Jabari Smith Jr. will be our fourth pick. And our fifth and final play, we're going to go to Kevin Durant. Same line for Kevin Durant. 10.5 rebounds and assists going over that for him as well. This is a second game that Beal and Booker will be playing in. Um, so kind of we'll check out what he did you know, with Booker and Beal in the lineup. 
uh, and then what I expect from them moving forward. So Kevin Durant, 10.5 rebounds and assists. We do see the odds are pretty much heavily favoring this at minus 130. Um, and six of the last 10 games, he's gone over this. In terms of 2023, gone over this in 13 to 20 games. So love to see that. Again, some of these games are without Booker. Some of these games are without Beal. But with the games with Beal, let's go to Jess Beal. Uh, gone over in three of the four games while playing alongside Bradley Beal. In terms of the games with Booker, he's gone over this in six of 11 games playing alongside Booker. In the games he's missing, the, in the games he's missing, guys, he's just getting ten pretty much. Um, so he's been very close on those games that he has missed. But uh, we do know that they that they played all together last game. It was not the best game in the world. They didn't look great all together. But that takes uh, you know some time to get used to. He did get ten. Did go under here. So that is a note to to make here. Um, but you know going up against New York today. They don't have Mitchell Robinson, so they're not as a good defensive team, especially rim protecting. Um, so, you know, they're definitely a solid defensive team. Don't allow a whole bunch of assists. Don't have, allow a whole bunch of rebounds. But again, Mitchell Robinson is not there gobbling those up. So I think it could be a good spot for him. Katie hasn't played these guys while he's been on the Suns. Um, so can't go to a head-to-head -head matchup. But everything looks good. And I think, you know, if these guys are going to start gelling together. If Beal and Booker can play a little off ball while Kevin Durant has it cooking, uh, really like this spot for him. Let's go to Fancy Optimizer, see what they are saying about his line uh, and where other sports books have him. Kevin Durant. Go ahead and apply and click him. And we do see that rebounds and assist line popping up. 53.74% chance of hit. Love to see it. FanDuel's already got this at 11.5. We're going to at 10.5. The sports books that have it at 10.5 are favoring it very heavily. Minus 135, minus 137, minus 145 on Fliff. So absolutely love this KD line. The last point of data we're going to go to is his Rotowire projection. Kevin Durant over here. We do see that obviously he has that free space for Christmas. So that's 100% hit rate, all these things. But the next best one on the board for him is 10.5. Rebounds and assists, which is what we're attacking. The leaning is on the or. More other pick -em sites probably already have this at 11. Um, sportsbooks are leaning towards the over as well. And then Rotowire is projecting 11.88. All we need is 11. So that's what we need. Hit rate's been solid, like we checked him out. And I think he could definitely get there for us. So that is our five plays. If you just jumped to the end of the video, I don't recommend doing it because, you know, I try to explain these things as best I can, give as many data points as I can. But here we go. Denny Advia going to go under his 26.5 PRA. CJ McCollum attacking some fantasy score, 34.0 going over him, over for him. D'Anthony Melton over 25.5 fantasy score. Jabari Smith Jr. over 10.5 rebounds and assists. And then same line for Kevin Durant over 10.5 rebounds and assists. So that's our five plays for us. Don't forget about those promotions, guys. Have to go in and opt in. Do it now while you don't forget. Because, um, again, I've forgotten that many different times. Uh, but, yeah, sorry about the you know the long one. Sometimes I ramble, but hopefully you guys got some value out of this. Feeling really good about these, these plays. Um, definitely check out all the links in the description. The Discord is free to join. Check that out if you want to join the Rich Picks. Um, there should be a free trial. I really don't know if there is or not. Sometimes it works for people. Sometimes it doesn't. But let me know if you're having trouble with that. So try to join the Rich Club if you want. Um, and then any of these other websites, Outlier, Fantasy Optimizer on Odds Jam or Rotowire. Definitely go check them out. Seven-day free trial for these two. This website is completely free. Just hit the link to let them know that I sent you there. But that will do it, guys. Hopefully we make some money tonight, and I'll see you in the Discord. Peace out.